As part of efforts to influence and improve the banking and finance curricula of both the universities and polytechnics in order to ensure they meet the current realities and needs of the industry, stakeholders in the banking and finance industry have adopted new banking professional examinations and certification programs syllabi. The correspondent Jacinta Obioko has more. The stakeholders buttress that the new syllabus incorporates new areas such as public sector finance, sustainable banking and digital banking, as well as expand and change titles of the existing areas to reflect the current trends. The syllabus is unique in several ways. It is dynamic as it provides for emerging and future trends on all the issues covered. It is modular in structure to make it broader in coverage and knowledge, unlike the previous one we had, which was subject by subject format. The syllabus which identified global trends in banking practices and the requirements of the banking and finance industry will equip the existing and potential students of the Institute with the required skills and competencies the need to succeed now and, of course, in the future. The syllabus reflects truly the changes that our profession has gone through globally and especially in Nigeria. They pointed out the unique aspect of the syllabus. I will not but agree that this syllabus offers a unique and fresh approach to banking education. It is no doubt a very bold undertaking one that promises to equip the banking professional with skills and competences required to cope with the demands of today's highly dynamic environment and indeed the practice of banking. Because the world we live in now keeps changing every year. But most importantly, let us bring in bankers who are still in employment, doing banking work, into the classroom so that between them and the collaboration that we would have with the professors in the universities, uh, and, and those that are working with CIBN will deliver the kind of education that we can all be proud of. An academic review on the new development was also given. A cursory look at the new syllabus as an academic reveals some fundamental changes that can bridge the existing knowledge gap in the banking and financial services industry. Should lie us with the National Universities Commission so that some of the content of this new syllabus, which to me, is very, very good, can be incorporated into the curriculum of banking and finance in our universities. The new syllabus is also expected to help nurture a strong pipeline of talent and deep skills in the workplace to support the continued transformation of the banking industry. Jacinta Obiuku reporting for PLOS TV Africa. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.